I'm really interested in the act of presenting people with information. However, within this particular work, I've just really wanted to kind of assemble clues. Almost like that act of excavation. I mean, at the root of the project is this idea of excavating the banker's bones, this kind of act of discovery. I would define myself as an artist just in terms of, of my intentions as an artist. I'm an issue-based artist, so therefore um, the work which I make tends to be um, an, an attempt to interrogate a particular issue. Ideas form in my head. They form in kind of tiny little bits, but I need to then write everything down. Write stuff down uh, multiple times in sketchbooks. Um, I believe quite quite strongly in sketchbooks, but the sketchbooks which I do um, are absolutely chaotic because I don't have that kind of formalised way of working. And because I had this space over this summer, I decided to attempt to use it um, to explore a kind of long-term interest which I've had in history painting, in kind of large-scale painting. And so, in a sense, it's been quite strange because it's the first time that I've attempted to paint for a long, long time. So it's been like a sort of void of discovery over the summer in terms of just like attempting to explore paint again. Unearthing the Banker's Bones is a project which exists in four parts. It exists um, as a three screen in the installation. That installation um, looks at a range of ways in which, in which um, science fiction has been used to view, um, to view the present. And I'm kind of looking at a range of storytelling techniques within that. So it's storytelling through history painting, and then it's storytelling through a series of kind of imagined novels, you know, all the covers of imagined novels, which I'm, I'm calling pulp fictions. And so it's this way of attempting to use different ways of telling the same story almost in these different forms. The strategy within the work is that um, one brings these bits of information and their clues and their gestures, their suggestions, their parts of things, um, um, which I then, I then really want the audience to kind of bring that together themselves, um, to really begin to kind of piece together what they feel um, is the solution to a puzzle. It's almost like gameplay. When you play a game and you resolve a puzzle, or you think you resolved a puzzle, it somehow becomes a bit more satisfying than, than if you have just presented with information.